The giant Australian cuttlefish is also a crossdresser. They aggregate in thousands off our coast to spawn in winter. But they congregate in relatively small patches of rocky reefs. And at the time, males outnumber females. There may be up to 11 males for every female. The females lay their eggs in rocky crevices. So the males fight to establish their territories in the rocky areas favoured as nesting sites by the females. This means that most males won't get to mate. So a successful male, one that can fight off other males and secure and then guard an ideal nesting spot, he'll be able to attract and mate with lots of females and so pass on his genes, producing lots of young. So there's an advantage in the giant Australian cuttlefish for males to be big and aggressive. And it's not surprising that these guys are the largest of all cuttlefish species. The males perform spectacular displays to intimidate other males, as well as to lure females into their territory. The males are bigger than the females. But males work hard to make themselves look even bigger still, in fact as big as possible. They have banner-like webs along their body and arms, which they flare out to make themselves look bigger. Iridescent colours pulse along the edge of their banners. The speed and intensity of the colour changes as the male becomes excited. The colours in the zebra stripes across their body moves in waves as part of the display. But when a male has established his territory, he'll wait for females to arrive. He'll mate with a female head to head. He passes his spermatophore, which is a small packet of sperm, across to the female to fertilise her eggs. Now this is where it gets interesting. Sometimes, while these large aggressive males are busy guarding their territory and their females, other small males that look just like females sneak into the territory. These males don't display. They don't outstretch flanges to make themselves look bigger. They don't light themselves up with colourful displays. They move into the territory quietly. In fact, as these small males look pretty much like a female, the territorial male may not even notice them. Or he may think he's lured in another female. By mimicking the coloration and behaviour of females, these males sneak close to the females to mate right under the nose of the territorial male. The territorial male is completely unaware and continues to stand guard. And that's exactly what these sneaky males intended to do. After spawning, the males and females all die. But those males that were successful at mating pass on their genes. And it wasn't just those big aggressive guys. The sneaky males that look just like females are adopting an alternate but also a winning mating strategy.